All right, yo, what's going on, everybody? You guys got the Barkage of the Hidden Gains Village. I'm back here today for another video, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about one of the most common questions that I receive on a regular basis, and that is simply, um, I'm going to be talking about uh, plant script. I'm going to be sharing with you guys exactly what I do on each of the main uh, plant variations to grab the bars. Now, with all of that said, I just want to first off say that everyone's is different. People have different hand sizes, so a lot of people are going to grip the bars differently. So finding what works for you is really key here. I will straight up say that probably the first time that you ever grabbed the bar is probably the optimal um, <clears throat> grip for you. And it just takes practice. I think people do overrate like a lot of the importance of applying different pressure points in plants. And while I do think they can probably be a little helpful. I think they are pretty overrated. And I think what happens is people just end up when they try the pressure points, I think they just end up overthinking it and honestly just making their planche worse. Um, at the end of the day, you're better off strengthening your planche itself by doing stuff like leans, uh, band holds, negatives, like, you, you know, all, all of that stuff. But regardless, <clears throat> It is still pretty important, so I'm going to be sharing what I do to grip the bars for each of the main plant scripts, like I already said. Okay, so first of all, we are going to be talking about the parallettes, probably the most common form of planche. <clears throat> okay, so first thing that's super important for basically all the grips of planche, your palm goes directly on top of the bars, like so. So your wrist should be pointing... <clears throat> Like, again, your wrist should be lined up with the bars here. You see that? Okay. Yep. Wrist is lined up. Okay. So it shouldn't be dropped like that or like around the bar if you're doing something like that. Uh, that actually will make your planche a lot worse. So palm goes on top of the bar. So the wrist is basically lined up with sort of the stand of the parallel. That makes sense. Okay. So, so we have the first step. Palms go on top of the bar. <clears throat> Second step. This is where a lot of people, this is one of the questions I get a lot because some people uh, do grab the bar uh, with part of their hand on the bar and the other part off the bar. In my opinion, you actually should not do this. And I always try to make sure that my entire hand is in contact with the bar the entire time. It might come, the back part of my hand, if I'm doing like really deep planche push-ups, might come off a little bit, but regardless, I'll always bring it back uh, to full contact when I'm in the actual planche. Same thing with uh, dead planche push-ups. I might go down and the wrist might come off a little bit, um, but again, back in the planche, I always try to make sure <clears throat> I have my entire hand on the bar because that is going to allow you to use the most muscles uh, for the planche. <clears throat> okay, so entire hand is on is in the contact of the bar, um, and if you are trying to think about pressure points and stuff, most of the pressure should actually be coming from your thumb and your index finger. So really try to squeeze the parallel bars with your thumb and your index finger. Um, hopefully, I am still in the camera while I do this, but I'm basically going to demonstrate a quick planche for you guys. I'm going to do one way. Uh, I'm going to do it with my full hand, how I would normally grip the bars. And then I'm going to uh, basically try to, I'm going to try my best here to do a planche with part of my hand off the bar and see if you guys can notice a difference in that. So here we go in three, two, one. Okay. Whole hand on. And then, yeah, you see, as soon as I try to take, uh, part of it off, I just basically fell. So, um, yeah, whole hand on the bar at all times for parallettes. That is the key number one tip. Okay. Up next, we are going to be talking about the supinated straight bar planche and also the ring planche. The reason why I wanted to group these together is because they are both very, very similar. Okay. Now, once again, on this grip, okay, you want your entire hand. Well, you want your palm on top of the bar like so. Okay. And if, again, if you are to think of a pressure point, most of the pressure will be coming from your uh, ring finger and also your pinky finger. So again, when you're doing a supinated planche or ring planche, really try to squeeze with that. This is a super important tip for these two variations that um, 
uh, not many people will tell you guys about. So please hit that like button down below. Um, I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so uh, yeah, you're squeezing with your uh, pinky and your ring finger. You're leaning forward, once again, trying to make sure your entire palm is on top of the bar. And with this one, you might want to move your wrists forward uh, as you are entering the planche. Um, that can help you. <clears throat> okay, so recap with supinated. Again, palm goes on top. Squeeze with your pinky and your ring finger. And as you lean forward, your wrists might uh, come forward a little bit. Uh, that's okay. That could possibly help you out. Okay. <clears throat> Again, same thing really applies for rings. Uh, <clears throat> ring and um, <clears throat> pinky finger. Okay. Grabbing the rings. Um, <clears throat> Again, you, you can do full script for planche or you can do sort of a wrist drop. It's kind of whichever works for you. Personally, I recommend going full grip um, <clears throat> because if you are doing more advanced ring skills, it's just better to use full grip, honestly. Okay. Up next is a pronated straight bar, which is kind of the opposite of uh, supinated, if that makes sense, okay? Once again, palm on top of the bar. This time you're really squeezing, uh, similar to P-bars, you're really squeezing with your index finger and your thumb, okay? As you're leaning forward this time, what might happen is your wrists are gonna come backwards a little bit. So when the supinated leans, uh, your wrists were coming forward. Well, in this one, uh, the wrists are actually coming backwards. Okay. And yeah, that is the pronated straight bar planche. All right. Um, up next, and actually the last thing that I'm going to cover in this video is the floor grips. Okay. There's three of them. <laughs> oh, wait, there's actually also fingertips. We'll do fingertip real quick just because it's so easy. Um, and I have a fingertip uh, planche drawer if you want a little more detail, but regardless, I'm gonna cover this. So fingertip, it is literally all in the thumbs, whether or not you're doing fingertip neutral or fingertip supinated, uh, a major, vast major, almost all of the pressure actually is going to be on your thumbs. So if you have strong thumbs, definitely uh, give the fingertip planche a shot, okay? <clears throat> all right, so like I said, there's three floor grips we're gonna cover. Uh, the first one is going to be supinated floor. Looks like this, and it is very similar to bar supinated, okay? It's basically just a matter of a lot of the pressure being on <clears throat> sort of this inside, yeah, wait, yeah, inside part of your hand, right about here. Um, but yeah, so you're going to lean, lean forward, I'm not actually going to planche because I've been training, so yeah, you just do that. Again, really think about <clears throat> pushing with that. Okay, up next, uh, neutral floor. Um, <clears throat> again, a lot of the pressure is just going to be kind of here around where your thumb is. Uh, so again, try to try to focus on pushing from there. But a lot of this stuff is all kind. Th that's the thing with the, with these grip uh, cues. A lot of it really is just kind of natural. Um, so thinking about it a little bit might help you. But at the end of the day, like I said at the beginning, if overthinking it could probably mess you up because chances are you're probably already um, <clears throat> doing it right, okay? Um, and then the last one is sort of like a pronated uh, floor. Again, a lot of the pressure, lot of, that's actually similar to the neutral one. A lot of the pressure is gonna be around here. And um, yeah, guys, um, I really hope that this video helped answer any questions that you guys may have had about planche grip. Um, please feel free to comment below other um, <clears throat> like tip videos and stuff that you guys would like to see on the channel. Um, please, of course, hit me with a nice subscribe to Ojutsu. We are trying to get to 5,000 before the end of the year, and I think we're cutting it really, really close. So I'd really appreciate uh, your subscription if you found the video helpful. Um, with that, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces.